In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Simon and Jude Apostles. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of Saints Simon and Jude, that the church may constantly grow by increase of the people who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him, 
you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. Day pours out the word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth, their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world, their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went up to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When they came, he called his disciples to himself. And from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called the Zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon to all of you. Today, we uh, celebrate the feast of uh, Saints Simon and Jude, the 10th and 11th apostles chosen by Jesus. We hear in our gospel for today that to form the 12 Jesus went up to the mountain to pray. We recall and remember Moses, who did the same. To meet God before concluding the covenant with the 12 tribes of Israel. Jesus' dialogue our conversation with the Father lasted from night till day. This was a very important moment in his ministry, the choice of the right persons 
could determine the success or failure of his mission. However, his line up of apostles is difficult to appraise. Seven of them, like Peter, were probably fishermen. Matthew was a tax collector, a public servant of the Romans. Simon belonged to the zealots who wanted to drive and overthrow the Roman colonizers away through a violent revolution. Jude could be a farmer, binding the apostles as one community, considering their different personalities, age, and backgrounds, was not easy. This was possible only through a change of heart for a common goal, the kingdom of God. That was the core of Jesus' preaching. His life and his words were progressively transforming his disciples until they became other Christs. They were called by Jesus to be with him as witnesses and to be sent as apostles. My dear brothers and sisters, according to tradition, Simon and Jude went together to Persia, the modern-day Iran. They, third, they, did, they died as martyrs. Jude is popularly considered as patron of desperate situations and lost causes. Their lives are teaching us profound lessons. And that is, it is not easy or it is not necessary to be on the top least to do much good to others. To become other Christ means to undergo a series of conversion and detachment from our old self. For that Jesus is capable of choosing no matter who like you and me. Just trust the Lord and let us imitate the apostles. Give ourselves to him so that when he called us, we will be able to give our lives for him and for the kingdom, which our common mission and goal to proclaim God's kingdom. Please stand. As part of the building that has the apostles and prophets as its foundation, let us bring our intentions before the Father of mercies. Father, bless us whom you formed with the faith of the apostles. Father, bless us whom you formed with the faith of the apostles. 
that there may be continued growth of the Catholic Church through the preaching and examples of our religious leaders and missionaries. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us whom you form with the faith of the apostles, that we may have the energy and seal of Saint Simon. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us whom you form with the faith of the apostles, that we may imitate the solicitude and humility of Saint Jude. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us whom you form with the faith of the apostles, that the Lord may grant healing to those who are sick and strength to those who are in despair. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us whom you form with the faith of the apostles, that those who have died may enjoy forever the fullness of God's saving power, which they have always longed for. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us whom you form with the faith of the apostles. Merciful Father, as we pray for others, may we share in the apostolic service of those who were called and chosen. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we venerate the perpetual glory of the holy apostles Simon and Jude, O Lord, we ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to worthy celebration of the sacred mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out, as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the skips we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Simon and Jude, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. The body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having received this sacrament, O Lord, we humbly implore you in the Holy Spirit that what we do to honor the glorious passion of the Apostle Simon and Jude may keep us ever in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you, bless you through the glorious marriage of the apostles Simon and Jude. Amen. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the apostles make you under their protection witnesses to the truth before all. Amen. So that through the intercession of the apostles, you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by their teaching, 
you possess firmness of faith. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.